a very very good morning to brazil good evening to india and good day to all other viewers from this global world a global edu leader forum uh, where we all educators keep inspiring keep discussing issue related to teachers health education and entertainment so today's topic is learning new languages our global connect across the country is based on a common language which may may not be your mother tongue suppose for example india mother tongue people have hindi maybe gujarati marathi and other but if you take as a common language which is language of communication that is english same way uh, if you talk about brazil the guest from brazil they speak portuguese but we communicate with a common language today i have speakers uh, from all over world if i say but we are communicating with the common language what i'm trying to tell once a small child passes a school and enter into college examinations and after college examinations moving towards his or her profession there is a requirement of the common language which may be different from their mother tongue or the language where he studies during the time of pandemic our e connect on the globe has gone really very high and as a result we are communicating to the people from one corner east to west and north to east or the central globe i would like to invite as a first speaker Wilma, who is a real educator, and of course connected with global edu leaders from past two and a half year. Wilma, just introduce yourself and your views on learning new languages. If I do not know English, I would have not been able to connect you. so how for language has importance and how i i would love to learn portuguese i requested renata to teach me portuguese so i can be able to speak in portuguese so that can be we started with the salutation call you know bonjia i feel happy at least i know india we say namaskaram in sanskrit we say welcome in tamil we say namaskaram again in malayalam we can say suprabhat in hindi so india has many regional languages depend on the state so just introduce yourself what is your experience about learning a new language i can say learning a new language is a opening new door of communication where you receive happiness and integrity so welcome to you and over to you bom dia Good morning. Good morning from Brazil. It's again a great pleasure being here with this family, global leaders. And yes, learning a new language is a way of um communicating with the whole world and English especially is the way that we can connect with each and everyone around the world. I am passionate about this language because it completely changed my life it gave me many many opportunities it opened literally the doors of the world for me and this is something that i love doing for my students as well teaching them that with english they can learn different things but especially they can meet people from different countries they can make new friends and this is something magic because if we didn't know english how could you communicate with someone from india from 
Peru, from Mexico, from Afghanistan, from many different countries. So English is the language of heart, can I say, because we can connect with anyone and we speak one language globally. And when we empower our students to learn this language, they realize that, yes, they are able to do anything. And in the beginning, they think that it's hard. But when we empower them, that is not that hard. They just really want to, to, want to learn. They realize that, yes, they are able to communicate. They are able to understand people from across the globe. And that's amazing, empowering them. And this way, we can bring them to the international field and they feel happier and more empowered. Great. Rightly said, if C would have not been educator of English, it was very difficult for us to communicate. And of course, uh, C is the one who is opening new do door for their kids and giving, you know, uh, a vision to connect with the Indian students. Uh, I would love to invite as a next speaker, Parmita Chatterjee, just introduce yourself and what your views, how we inspire, how we facilitate to youngsters, if they want to connect with the other world, what kind of steps they must take and what kind of advice you can give? Uh, Welcome namaskar. to you and over to you. Yeah, Namaskar or uh, Namaskar, as we say in India. So I am a uh, Bengali. Uh, in India, we have different states, so we have different regional languages. The national language of India is Hindi. And English is a language that binds and connects everyone because it is the language of the entire world, as we have just spoken. So uh, English is something that connects, uh, for example, we have children in our school, we have children in different schools in India, and we have children in different schools globally. So when they want to connect to each other, English is the language that is the binding language for all of them. Uh, now, I would like to share a little more on whether it's English or whether it's any language that a person wants to learn, what all tips and tricks can help a person learn. So, I have a presentation. Can I take a few minutes to share it with all of you? Okay. Uh, Renita, ma'am, can you kindly share my presentation? You can, you can. You can share now. I have allowed, I have allowed, you can. Yeah, yeah, I'm just doing it. I think there is some issue with my sharing. Ma'am, can you please share it? I have already shared it with her. Renita, ma'am, can you hear me? Yeah, finally, it's visible. Finally share. Okay. Just give up okay. views. Put a slide, uh, slide in a share, if you can take a full screen. Uh, just a second. Give me a Is it okay, ma'am? Can you... Yeah, elaborate no issue. Uh, okay. Yeah. I can I can see it now. So how to facilitate learning of a new language when we talk about facilitating the la learning of a new language? I think setting uh, short-term goals is very much important. Because when we set short-term goals, by not setting a goal, we uh, are not able to you know learn a language. And when I mean uh, setting goals, it means smart goals. So what are smart goals? They should be specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. What do I mean by when I say specific? So when I say specific, I mean to say that uh, I like my goal should be precise rather than just saying that I want to learn English or learn French. 
by the end of next year it should be that i want to learn grammar maybe subject verb agreement or verb conjugation in french by next month or by three months it should be in a specific also i want to say that our goal should be measurable like i should know that how much time i am devoting i am devoting maybe 30 minutes to reading 20 minutes to learning new words uh 60 minutes to learning so it should be measurable then i feel that my goal should be attainable so when it is attainable it should not be overwhelming but i am demotivated so it should always be something a big goal should be broken down into shorter one and then i should take it step by step one by one because that will give me a sense of achievement and that will you know motivate me to take the next level that then get me be motivated and just leaving my uh, goal also my goal should be relevant like how much english or how much french do i want to learn do i want to be able to read the book or do i want to be able to convert it all depends on the level of proficiency that i want to achieve in my goal and it should also be time bound i should have a deadline as to by this time i should be able to complete it the other thing i want to share with you is uh, i feel that pareto principle helps a lot in language learning so what is pareto principle it talks about like uh, devoting uh, trying to streamlining your language learning process by focusing on high frequency words and phrases so if i am trying to learn english i should at least basically know the most commonly used english words and phrases uh, that can help me connect to speakers rather than learning english a to z because that will take a long time so at least when i do that i uh, it will be faster and it will give me it will be result oriented also whenever we learn a language i think we should try to think in that language generally what is what if, uh, like what happens is suppose i am uh, from uh, india and i basically know bengali so every time a child who does not know english will first try to think in bengali and then translate it into english so here there is a problem it's always good to think try to try up to provoke your brain to think in that language and pay attention to grammar use dictionary and then that will help you learn the language better also we have we tend to have this forgetting curve so to minimize it pace repetition is something that is very much important this that will uh, you know help minimize the forgetting curve and uh, make the learning more effective uh, apart from that the more we listen the more we read the more we write obviously we are able to learn the language better another way of learning language is in the in form of entertainment is by watching movies or by listening to music in that language because that helps to give you the correct pronunciation you uh, get to know even the regional dialects that are used by various people and you tend to enjoy it while you are while you are learning and i would like to conclude by saying that learning any language takes time so one should be one should be ready to devote that time and then i think learning a language becomes much simpler thank you great really great uh, you have beautifully elaborated if we have a smart goal that may facilitate that may inspire any individual i am not talking about the students they set the goal they start practicing it and if the goal is specific measurable attainable and they do it with the proper attention they will move towards learning a new language very well said i think uh, velma and uh, parmita both have justified their views i am coming to angushmita energy your views your call and your experience about learning a new language how we inspire how we motivate or if you find some other factor of your experience you can share so introduce yourself and welcome to you over to you hello 
everyone. This is Dr. Angshumitra Banerjee. I'm a teacher. I tell stories. When anybody get stuck in anything, I become a counselor. Then when other they wanted to learn like new language, the place where I'm staying, uh, it's a southern part of India. I help the teacher how to make the language that is our Hindi to teach the kids in a very easy method. Then sometimes I speak, I become a speaker. And above all, I'm a teacher. I'm a, I was a um, lawyer who turned into a teacher. And I should say that it's God grace, the thing which I dream. And I was dreaming before and still now I'm dreaming it's coming true for me to communicate with everyone. So communication, when I told communicate with everyone, that means communication. Here communication can be the mode of speaking. So how can we communicate with each other? You don't need to communicate with each other if you don't know the language properly also. You can try to communicate. Internationally communicative language is English. So when it comes for English, and nowadays everywhere, whether you are teaching, whether you're in a job, or any part of the world, anything you are going for shopping, they will ask you, they will first communicate you with English. So when you learn a new language other than the mother tongue of your, it gives very positive impact. Like when you go for shopping, we'll say the common people, ultimately we end up in buying some stuff, whether it's a grocery, whether it's a food item, whether it's a wearable or apples. So what happens? We go and we see the price tag. When you go and see the price tag, in India and most part of India, we are, there is bi language. Whether the state language or Hindi will be there or English. So if you know any one language that is mostly communicative language is English, so you are able to read that, that what is there written in that. Mostly we have to see the expiry date when it's getting expired, medicine, or the food item which we have. So learning language is really, it's a, you can say, it's like, you know, you are learning something new in your life. When you learn a new language, you come to communicate with the person whom you don't know. You don't know their language, but if you say, Hi, hello, how are you? The moment you will say that person is, oh, this is my language speaking. I can also answer to that person. So what happened is emotionally, psychologically, we get a support. Next comes when we know the language, it's our confidence level, which uprises. So when a confidence level uprises, we come at, we can come across with anything. Like, as uh, told that I can give a uh, man's uh, example, I'm a teacher and I teach to the Tamilian student. Which language? It's a new for them, Hindi. And B, I'm a Bengali. So I have to learn, I'm speaking in which languages? One is English my own mother tongue, that is Bengali, Hindi, and I'm teaching to whom? The fourth one, that is to the Tamilian section, the Tamilian speaking children. So here it comes that when you are communicating with them, I have to learn a little bit Tamil also, so that few of the words which are difficult for them in Hindi I can translate it in English because it's our communicative language in school. We study in English in most of the places, um, private school and some of the government school. 
it is the english which is the communicative language so books are in english students are trained in english so i have to speak in english if i say few words in their own language it makes the subject or the language easier for them to understand so you can say that whenever any part of the world when you are going if you know a little bit of that particular language or like if i say wanna come automatically i am going to reach the people of my locality where i am staying so connection happens everything is nowadays it's a skill you have to have the skills how to communicate with each other if you don't have the language i don't know portuguese i don't know many other language in this world i don't know french i don't know italian or gaelic language but how can we communicate is a world communication language a communicative language is english many place in china they don't even speak english where i used to stay there i stayed there for around about 4 years to 5 years then but i picked up few words i can a famous sentence when again i'm telling we end up with groceries restaurants and other things if you know particular thing that you want to order you tell that i don't want these are the ingredients to be there in my food of course they are not good for you so language learning more language is much more i won't say it is a you can meet everyone you can make friends more friends will be with you Great. the moment you have friends friendship is globalized it cannot be within the bonded area so Great. let us see one thing that learning a communicative language is much more needed whether any part of the world or in the state where i stay learn a little more hindi that is not going to make any harm for you because when you get a gadget which is coming from government of india it will be written in hindi as well as in english learn it thank you thank learn you thank language. you so much thank you so much uh, uh, delighted delighted to have your views once you know the language uh bon dia como está você so this is the one two word which i have learn of portuguese uh, i wish uh, beatrice and wilma will teach me more portuguese so once we are planning to reach to uh, brazil or portugal or the the land where people speak different language it will be easy for us i'll give you one example i was uh, in middle east uh, in saudi arabia so the first connect of the student was ke filhal how are you koiz happy fine same thing there was a mix of students from arab as well as a kerala so i used to say once you are meeting kerala students and if you say sukhama no it means immediately he respond or she will respond oh malayali so this is the small connect of a language it may be a short word of salutation so rightly said uh, dr banerji confidence while speaking connect actually a language is a connect of your heart not your mind you may have a translator in your mobile but translator can translate the meaning but once you are communicating with your tongue mind and soul somehow it motivates you to understand the person 
people say non verbal language without speaking also you can make it out what the next person is communicating to you entering into a new world is a matter of ignifying your passion and desire i keep saying air water sunlight is a common air water and sunlight is not being divided into any caste religion or country so why not on the global edu leaders forum we spread this language of love i want indian students to teach english to brazilian i want brazilian teachers to teach portuguese to indians so we enhance once we say we are global that means people should know more than one language i will be happy i do promise in future if i am able to communicate in portuguese so i may have a better connection to the brazil same thing about other language language of china language of japan language of australia language of spain greece arabs so a person who has a vision to be global must start learning new language i have a magical teacher who has been always my favorite teacher on the screen christina i would love if you are listening to me put your camera on and please i am a one of great follower of your teaching way the way you teach always keeping a smile on the face always have a body movement so welcome to you christina and over to you language you. is a language of love language is a language of connect and language is a actual connectivity of the world so over to you introduce yourself and then start thank you welcome and let me tell you something about me as you know i've been telling you so many times i was so shy and i was so scared about english because i thought that i had to learn english with my mind and i was so frustrated for so many years i was teaching to children because i was not scared of them and you imagine that and it's not that i don't love children i love them and i love teenagers but the thing that i didn't like is that i wanted to speak to adults and i was terrified when i was able to connect to my heart and to my hands teaching with my hands has helped me a lot i discovered new possibilities i started my company 3 years ago because i was always working for um private schools or for the government but when i started being an entrepreneur i said oh my goodness if i do not teach very well my students will go and i want to have money to eat that's the truth i have to be honest so it was when i was in that process to face my dreams when i started investigating more and more and more how language is learned I'm going to give you one example. I'm not going to be talking a lot. I'm going to give you one example. I discovered something. Languages. If you want to learn a language, first you need to pay attention to these colors: blue, red, and green. I discovered that there is an order: subject, verb, and object. and 42 of all the languages follow this structure for example i love english but there are some languages which are the opposite for example i english love if you start paying attention on the order everything is going to be easier because you will have an structure i'm going to teach you in spanish spanish has the same order and i am portuguese too subject verb and object for example yo means i repeat with me guys 
Yo. Yo. I wanna. Yo. Right? Yo. The verb is going to be love. Amar. So I'm going to say amo. Repeat with me. Amo. 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 So that amo. means I love. And it's going to be English, which is English. English. Right? So the sentence is yo. Repeat yo. with me, guys. Yo. Yo. Amo. Amo. English. El inglés. Repeat with me. El inglés. Yes. Okay. Let's continue with this structure. Yo amo. Repeat with me, guys. Yo amo. Yo amo. Yo amo las English. fotos. English. Las fotos. The pictures. There is another thing. The friends. The cognates. The words that are very similar. For example, English means English in my, in my language, right? Pictures means or photos which is a cognate. Astronaut in Spanish is astronauta. Intelligent in Spanish is inteligente. So there are so many cognates in every single language. For example, one of the most popular cognates is taxi. Everybody knows what a taxi is, right? Yes. So I can say this sentence. Yo, repeat with me, yo, yo amo, amo amo los taxis los, los taxis. taxis you are speaking perfect spanish what about in portuguese vilma how do you say i in portuguese eu, eu? okay eu. how do you say love in portuguese amo ah? amo amo eu amo eu amo, eu amo. And English, how do you say English? English. English. Eu amo. English. Okay. Eu amo. Eu amo. Como English. 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 And you are talking perfectly Portuguese. Okay. <laughs> and I want to investigate a little bit more. Uh, I have Dr. Anisrimita. What language is your mother tongue? Bengali. Bengal. Okay. How do you say I? Ami. Ami. How do you say love? Hello, one more time. One more time. One more time. This one. Ami. Ami, Ami. It's me, right? How do you say love? Hello, Bashi. Hello, Bashi. Ami. Hello, Bashi. And how do you say English? Uh, English. English. Tell me if it is correct this sentence. Ami, hello, Bashi, English, or if it is another order. Yeah? Ami, hello, Bashi, English. Uh, something, guys. I cannot read words. I cannot read symbols. I can read pictures. The power of the mind. The mind responds to pictures. What about if you show them these pictures? And then you put objects with flashcards, right? Learners, we love that. I teach them to do this with their hands and try to visualize pictures. You don't need your notebooks. When you are communicating with someone, you are not going to say, hey, where is the notebook of my teacher when I was studying and what was that word? No, you need it here. If you can train your students with simple tools, so they can have an order and then look for cognates, which are the friends. And then another important thing, teach them about the sounds, right? Because we need three things in order to, put out, to produce the sounds. If we are opening or closing our mouth, if we are having a, posi a different position of the tongue, if it is up in the middle, down, if it is on the front, in the center, in the back, and if we are voicing the sounds, all these aspects are important. So it's a gym. The students are so amazed because they are training with, it's, it's, like, a, it's like going to a gym, it's, it's so fun. So that would be my recommendation. Number one, look for the sentence structure, okay? Two, look for the friends. And number three, identify the sounds. English, for example, has 
40 sounds. If you teach your students how are those sounds pronounced, everything is going to be great. How is the position of the mouth and everything? And they are going to be so happy to learn new languages. Thank you very much. Wonderful. And, Ms. and Mr. Amir, thank you for being here because he's a very good friend from Pakistan. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Christina. I think you have invented something new, teaching with the pictures. And of course, pictures stimulate an impression in the mind and anyone can learn easily. My closing remark, Wilma, to you, while learning English and while taking this lead where students are not much aware about English language and they are more about Portuguese. How can we uh, define your success on a personal level? What was your difficult journey? How you made this journey enjoyable as a closing remark? To me? <laughs> yeah, you can. Okay. So uh, I could say that showing love for what you do is something that makes the total difference. And the way I help my students learning and the way I motivate them is showing them that I love what I do and showing the way English empowered my. <laughs> And the way I showed them, the way English empowered my life, the way English changed my life. Because when you show the students that you are an example of learning, an example that you are able to learn, then they realize that they... Okay, I'm sorry. So the way I do is uh, telling them about the way I learned English and telling them the way English empowered my life, the way English changed my life. And then I tell, I generally tell them about the, my history yeah. of life when I didn't, when I was a child and we didn't have any money. And then I had the chance to learn English. It was a gift from my, um, from the, my, my parents boss since I was always helping there then they he gave me the, the the scholarship to learn English and then I started learning from nothing and I studied really hard and English changed my life English gave me many opportunities so I came from a very poor family we didn't have any money for anything and as a gift English changed my life and then today I have the possibility to be, to be on international platforms and I have the possibility to meet people from different countries. I have the chance to show my students that as English changed my life, English can change their lives as well. And then I learned to love English and I can say that they see on my eyes the passion for that. And I am always really happy doing that and I do that with my heart. And this is the most important thing. When students see that you love that, when they see that you are doing that because it really matters for you and you show that you care about their lives, you, you care about their history of life, then they learn, they become open to learn and then they are there um, trying their best because you are there also giving your best and then I believe that the best way to teach our kids it doesn't matter if you are teaching them English Spanish or any other language or math or history the most important thing is that you are the example that you show that you are there because you love what you are doing and the most important thing that you are there because you care about them you care about their lives you care about why they are learning and then it becomes easier to have a good relationship with them when you care about them and when they see on your eyes that you love what you are doing. Uh, two examples on the screen. Uh, I'm really delighted. Once we come up with the real life story, uh, Wilma 
impressed with your sentence what you said ki today i can get connected with the global world on an international platform and same thing about christina what she was sharing ki i was very shy uh, regarding uh, opening uh, my communication with other people uh, what uh, i would love to share my own story uh, since everyone has a story of uh, success if i say i was born in a village of course my father was a teacher but he was not a english teacher uh, i used to uh, swim river i used to play into plain field up to age of 11 years i was not aware of a b c of english india has a two type of population one uh, which is urban where english is being taught from the nursery kg and class 1 and second part of india belongs to the rural india where up to primary education there is no single word at my time when i was a student in 1985 so we start a b c from class 6 at the age of 11 to 12 years how i got inspired uh, about english we have lots of uh, european visitor to varanasi varanasi is one of the oldest city of india very rich on the river ganga where lots of europeans they visit to have a lord shiva music and sanskrit these three things are important in my city so when i used to see the bus air condition buses coming from the airport passing through my school and this visitors are the people those who are visiting india used to stop the bus and try to talk to the students so who knows english we used to first word which we learn without abc welcome to india so there is a smile on the face and they click your photograph that was one of inspiring thing ki if we welcome to our guest those who are welcoming those who are coming to india we get connected to them then they say how are you fine thank you once again welcome to india we are happy to see you this small sentence of gesture has made things possible and today i am in front of you uh, my first uh, masters was with computer science second masters was with my mother tongue hindi literature third masters of management and fourth master which i was looking about the education so nothing is impossible at any point of time we can start learning and we can achieve it at age of uh, 33 i had a wish desire within me when i was teacher ki i have to be the head of institution people were not taking note of it i left my job from middle east and i came back to india just to prove myself ki i'll be head of institution so at age of 33 normally uh, teachers are not being taken into notice ki as age of 33 i become principal now what i would like to say a positive thought a spark in your mind to get connected now global edu leader forum is getting connected with more than 23 country around the globe so this global family has inspired me ki i must learn first next language is portuguese before i visit to brazil or i visit to portugal why i am getting inspired by you all those who are getting connected i would love to communicate in bengali i would love to communicate in punjabi i can understand well gujarati i can understand well marathi i can speak hindi i can speak english i can speak arabic and more or less i can speak malayalam also so why this was just a pure connect of my friends around the globe whom i am expressive whom i am communicative you you see uh, today's what is happening 
all social media connect is virtual during the time of pandemic people have come across few people have got good time to sleep during time of pandemic but few people those who have got connected they are enjoying they are getting inspired by each other they are inspiring others and they are getting inspired by others so my heartfelt gratitude uh, to have you all on the forum somehow credit goes to beatrice credit goes to our global coordinator uh, who is very very pure and clean hearted who keeps inviting people who keeps connecting and christina i became great fan of yours again i'm repeating and accepting it wilma is deeply connected with the students i have met i have talked to her students panthia is in sri lanka she is also very well connected uh, their students are uh, actually good in uh, communication so what we are getting we have everything in this world only time as i keep saying journey from head to heart is a uh, just distance of 12 to 18 inch and once you are connected from head to heart and this is the objective and tagline of global edu leaders forum what i want my all members those who are on the screen my all members those who are going to watch this program spread the language of love spread the smile on the faces what you are going to get from this world you all have to leave everything here you have come alone you came with the open hand and you will go with the open hand whole universe will be remain as it was if you can take you can take a smile you can take love you can take spirituality just see uh, how how beautifully we are looking after each one eyes we are receiving each one's happiness and smile those who are sleeping those who have got a good time to sleep during the pandemic time no work i hope they have missed something beautiful they have missed their important pleasure of life which you may feel while while talking to someone while interacting to someone there is a positive energy the day flyer comes we keep looking after who are the people going to talk who are the people who, whom we are going to meet if you see a small uh, flyer where your photograph is being pasted you get charged within ki i will be meeting to christina i will be meeting to wilma i will be meeting to madam banerji and chatterji what are this these are the purely purely if i say the language of love so i say i believe learning a new language is a language of prosperity a language of love language of care language of concern still i remember the program which we did for a uh, students of ukraine those who have shifted to poland what was that that was our care our concern for the small kids those who are staying on the border they are struggling with the situation so these things can bring together and i hope if we are able to spread a smile if we are able to share and care ultimately that will be the real objective of language this is what at my end uh, i am i am really happy to all of you uh, because after a long time i thought of expressing this because in my childhood i had a tough time i was completely out of technology i was living in a village where there was no electricity where there was no bridges we used to cross the river so depends i am in front of you all and this journey is incomplete without uh, beatrice and renata back of the screen so welcome and over to you beatrice for your closing comment uh good evening everybody uh thank you panelists for being willing to share learning strategies uh, i would like to thank renata for her persistence and skills and i would like to thank especially mr skc founder and president of global world leaders in breaking new ground for education i believe it is everyone's desire to master a second or a third language 
Some have more facilities do the similarity of the mother tongue and interaction since childhood. Others are, are more difficult or we judge it more difficult. I learn best by practicing and speaking and through the process of repetition. I need to read, listen, speak, and write. The problem with learning a new language in adulthood is the pressure we make on ourselves to not to speak wrong, not to pronounce words wrong, and not to write wrong. In fact, we should be like children who learn without worry and without uh, their own demands. And uh, when we are teaching a child to speak their first words, they don't care if it's right or wrong. They don't have judgments. They just want to talk and communicate. I invite everyone to follow uh, our weekly programs. Uh, thank you very much, everybody, for being here today, all the guests for teaching us so much. Thank you very much. So uh, thank you, uh, Beatrice, for connecting uh, people around the globe. I hope uh, such topic can bring a new energy to the people, those who are really looking to explore the world, those who are really looking to connect from each other. Uh, my heartfelt gratitude, my heartfelt uh, thanks to the speakers. And I request uh, all speakers, if you are connected once, Madam Banerjee and Madam Chatterjee, uh, Bengal is a very beautiful place of India where we have a language of love. Uh, they, they are known as, you know, a language uh, is compared with Rasogulla, if I am not wrong, uh, I'm not exactly aware of, yeah. but uh, still I remember I had, I had a friend, I had a friend of uh, mine who was my classmate. Once I used to visit uh, to my friend Sivankar Banerjee, his mother used to treat me and hug me like son. So I have, I have received, you know, that uh, a beautiful moment of my life. I, I cannot forget. Maybe this uh, video uh, Sivankar is going to uh, see. So Sivankar Banerjee have left that my uh, one of, uh, what I say, uh, memorable moment. SK, you come. The, the way I was uh, being treated. So we, we are the people, uh, what we have received from our parents are going to distribute to the uh, coming world. Either they may be my students, they may be, they may be my friends. Same thing with uh, this universe. Global Idol Leader Forum came into existence in April 2020. 8th of April was the first program. Honestly speaking, somehow God has decided that we will be meeting and we will be making this family big. I was not aware of what is going to happen. And trust me, more than 2025 country people get connected. It is destiny or what? It is a designed map by God. Who we are to define, we are in different country. Who we are to define, we are different religion. Who we are going to define, we know different, different, different languages. But English came into existence. Who has connected, who has given a lot. And trust me, the real blessings of this universe is you have a people who can bring a smile on your faces by watching your photograph, by listening your words. Maybe if you sing in Bengali or if you sing in Portuguese or if you sing in English, that is sound of heart, not sound of book. So library can give knowledge, but the communication and talks can give you happiness in the life. This is what uh, my submission for today. I'm extremely happy. A topic was uh, really very close to my heart. And let's bring this family more closure of having more interactive programs. See, uh, my tagline, which I have chose, Alone, I can do little, but together we can do too much. So it is not my responsibility, Christina, it is your responsibility 
Madam Banerji, it is your responsibility. Wilma, it is your responsibility to spread this happiness and get people connected. Why not we have a whole universe one day get connected? I have a target of connecting whole universe. Let's reach to the each part of this globe. And that was my objective to nominate this forum as a global edu leaders forum. We are blessed by, in Hindi it is called, you know, Maa Saraswati has blessed us. Ki we are able to communicate. You know, many people die with the mother tongue and they remain in their places only. So we are the blessed people. Maa Saraswati has blessed us. We are at least talking to each other today on the screen. Maybe tomorrow I'll be visiting. You will be coming to India. And this becomes the glory and happiness of life. This is what all for today. Uh, once again, thank you one and all. Uh, catch you with the such heart-touching topic. Uh, indeed, uh, uh, this gives us more empowered energy. I'm, I'm blessed. Uh, and keep blessing me uh, with this such moment because this is the only energy. Your presence on the screen is my energy. Your presence on the screen is the energy of Beatrice who is tirelessly doing this without any selfies. All programs behind this scene, Renata is always back off, who is giving uh, text messages, reminding me also so this journey uh, become beautiful within very short span of time. And I wish one day we all meet together. Why not? Maybe in India, I invite you all. Or maybe we can visit to Brazil and we meet each other. Or any, any world, whole world is uh, getting connected by air, by water, and maybe sometimes by walk and talk. So talk is the fastest distance coverer. So at least by talk, we are getting connected and one day we will be getting connected by talk also. That's all uh, closing my remark because uh, today I'm in emotionally charged. I may speak long time, but I don't want my speakers become listeners. Otherwise my job is <laughs> just to <laughs> connect you all and uh, moderation is a kind of job uh, which uh, normally, you know, uh, Connecting people, that's all. Today I got a role of a speaker. Uh, why? Because I had within me, it was somehow uh, after a long time, uh, this topic of language. So once again, I believe language is nothing more than love, care, and concern for each other. You get inspired by faces. You get inspired by a smile. That may be adult or that may be a small baby or that may be an old man sitting in a garden. It's all destiny, which is decided by Jesus, which is decided by Lord Ram, Krishna, Arjuna or anyone. Otherwise, uh, you would have not met. He has decided, she has decided something. Let's express, spread this energy. And being together uh, is the, of course, a uh, matter of pleasure, nothing else. Trust me, I was seven years out of India. I keep thinking about uh, just when I'll go back to India, how I'll meet my people, how uh, I welcome my own people. So this is all uh, we can take from this world. And last point, once you go from this world, now people will be remembering you with your smile and happiness only. No one will remember, trust me. <laughs> with your sadness, sorrows, fights. People will be remembered for just their smile and happiness. I still remember uh, Mother Teresa, who was working for the poor people in the slum. Still, I remember APJ Abdul Kalam, who was born as a matlab, teacher, if I say, who has a tough time of their life. And what he said, he is known as a, one of the renowned scientists of India. But of course, he was a teacher. What he has a desire, he was praying to Allah, Allah, Jesus, or God, I should die as a teacher. So this is the special thing. Uh, once we are talking to the screen, I do not know how many people are going to uh, get inspired by this. And if I see my all screen, every time people are happy, people are really uh, caring, concerned, 
and they think about each other. This is odd. So thank you one and all. Hope to get connected very soon with the new coming topic.